I was going to do outside today, but it rained last night really bad. As a matter of fact, we almost had to cancel the workout because our internet just only came up two hours ago. Our internet was knocked out last night uh, after the storm. But look at God. We're back. All right. We're still here. All right. So let's stretch it out from side to side real quick. It's nice and slow at your own pace. Nice and slow, slide side to side. Get that spine, up, that back, waist, nice and stretched out. All right. Now, I want you to do, I want you to give me a nice slow lunge. Go as far as you can go, stretch it out. Stretch it out. Oh yeah, I like to twist a little bit when I lunge. All right. You got that going, you can switch it up. Always wanna make sure you stretch out your hips, your knees, your back. A lot of injuries occur because your, bop, your body is not properly warmed up or uh, you, know, you haven't stretched properly, okay? So you got all those going. Grab that left leg for me. Grab that left leg for me. All right. Now, listen, I got to work out after this because yesterday was my son's elementary graduation party and we ate like royalty yesterday, okay? We ate really good. And that's why you want to be on a program like this so you don't have to be have those days where you can't eat what you want sometimes, right? So we had a good day yesterday, family's over, my son's up, my son, my daughter, every, my sons and my daughter were over here, mother-in-law, everybody, and I wanted to eat, and I don't regret it, but I'm gonna pay for it right now, all right? And I'm gonna pay for it after this, and that's what you do, you recover with your workout, all right? So here we go, hands up, all right, grab that left arm, Dress that out pretty good. All right, switch it up, grab the right arm. Pull that back, there you go. There you go, good stretch, good stretch. Come in front, left hand in the front, right arm underneath and pull. There you go, you should feel it in your back and in your, in your shoulder. All right, switch it up. Right arm in front, left arm, you kind of pull it like you're making a muscle. Yep. All right, give me my circles. There we go. I did bench press yesterday, which is very chest, shoulder, heavy workout. So uh, I'm feeling it right now. So the, even these shoulders are hurting right now because of the, the weights I did yesterday. So you gotta keep it loose, you gotta keep warming it up. Uh, if you look at any sport, most of the athletes have a full sweat before the game even starts because they're warmed up really good. All right, reverse it, reverse it. I remember I used to watch uh, Patrick Ewing from the Knicks in the warmups, and he'd be drenched in the warmup. I'm like, man, this guy ain't even started the game yet, he's drenched. But when your blood is flowing, your sweat gets going, or uh, maybe you can have a good workout, all right? All right, so. We're gonna start off with some light jumping jacks really quick. I just need 15 today, okay? Like I said, I'm taking it easy. Today, uh, to begin, we do have some challenging stuff in this workout. We're gonna work you into it, all right? Here we go. Are we in, Shane? You wanna come up back here with me? Sashina's here. All right, can everybody hear? Coach, I have not received my... All right. Have to contact corporate at this point, all right? So um, I'll get the feedback. Remind me, I can help if they don't, if, if there's any issues. But you gotta, you gotta uh, hit, hit them up. Uh, the, e the meal plan came in your email. So it's not physically sent to you, it's an email. So make sure you check that out, all right? Check your spam as well. Here we go. Jumping jacks in three, two, here we go. One. 
I'm not even going to count. We'll go for 30 seconds. Okay, there we go. We're going to just keep going. Keep that body moving. The purpose of a jumping jack is just blood flow. It's a full body exercise, which means all of your body parts are getting blood, oxygen. They're warming up, all right? 10 more seconds. I've played many sports, every single one of them. The coach said, everybody do some jumping jacks. All right, here we go. Keep moving. All right, now this one is different. So you gotta follow my feet on this one, okay? Hold for one second. So this is called a crab lunge jump, all right? It's simple though. So you're gonna be bent over, all right? Not too low, just kind of knees bent a little bit. And you're gonna go side, side, jump. Side, side, jump. I right, got that? Do it again. So you start from one side and you go side, side, jump. Side, side, jump. We got that? Give me thumbs up if we got that. If I need to do it again, are we good? Thumbs up, Eddie says we're good. Olivia, are we good? Paulice, are we good? All right, all right, so we got this for 30 seconds, all right? In three, two, I'm going to the right side first. Here we go. All right, here we go. One, two, jump. Come on. One, two, jump. There we go, easy. Just a warm up. This is not meant to kill you. It's just a warm up. Give me a big hop. Give me a big step over. There we go. We gotta warm those hips up, those knees. Keep going. Keep that butt low now, let's get low. Give me a little lower, give me a little lower. Some of y'all do Zumba. Y'all know about some of these movements. All right, these are easy for you to do Zumba. I've never successfully completed a Zumba class for the record. I watched a lot of Zumba classes on Instagram, but I can't do them myself. <laughs> All right, couple more. Get that butt down, Shane. Yeah. Back up, chest up, butt down. There we go. All right. Good warm up, good warm up, good warm up. All right. Here we go. Now, keeping, we're going to do another circuit today. Remember, we did circuits last time. I'm going to start introducing you guys to circuits, okay? So, first up in the circuit is going to be a sumo squat punch. All right, so sumo squat means your feet are spread apart a little bit more, okay? Normal squat, your feet about right here. Sumo squat, you'll come right here. Okay, that's sumo squat. But this is a sumo squat punch, so here, okay? Look at my foot pivoting out. My arm is going all the way to the side, okay? You're, you should be in a squat position though, okay? You should be low. You're not standing up doing this. You're low doing this. Got that? It's going to burn your legs a little bit, but you need that, okay? All right, that's going to be one exercise. I'm going to go through the rest of them. Hold on. We're going to have some jumping lunges, all right? Now, that's going to be an alternative. So jumping lunges look like this. All right, but if you can't do the jumping alternate lunge, you can just do a regular front lunge, okay? All right, that's your alternative, or you can do a regular back lunge. Okay, those are your alternatives. All right, we got one more. Then we're going to have to help give you a break in this. We're going to have freestyle punch, which means you just punch it. You just punch it for 30 seconds. Okay, any style you want. You can uppercut, you can do whatever. Freestyle punch. All right. And then we have something called Good mornings. And I'm gonna tell you right now, this is an underrated exercise. This helps with your back and your glutes. Good mornings are like this. Hands behind your head, slowly bend over, slowly come up, clench the glutes. Slowly bend over, slowly come up. Now you wanna come about 90 degrees, okay? 
You don't bend over too much, about 90 degrees, okay? You don't bend your knees. You keep your knees flat, your knees straight, all right? So, those are gonna be our circuit. Then we're gonna end up with some glute bridges and Russian twists to close out the workout, all right? So, I hope you guys are ready. Let me drink a little bit of my OxyFit Performance Blast. Mm. All right, here we go. So we are going to start off sumo squat punch in three, two, we're going to left side first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, get low, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, we're going to 40, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, halfway, 21, 22, 23, come on, get low, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 10 more, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, look, I want all of y'all to get a little bit lower on the next round, okay? It burns when you're holding your position lower, okay? All right, the higher you up, it's just like you're just doing a basic standing punch. All right, next up, jump lunge. Are y'all ready? That didn't wear y'all out yet. Thumbs up, you ready? All right, Eddie says he's ready. Here we go. Remember, if you can't do, the, all right, the jump lunge looks like this, okay? If you can't do all that, good, no worries. Right here, step and lunge, all right? Easy. We have 15 jump lunges, 15, okay? Matter of fact, we got to make it an even number so we can get both legs. So it's going to be 16 jump lunges. You ready? Shane, you ready? All right. Is she ready? You going to do it all out? You going all out? All right. Come on next to me. Come on next to me. Here we go. In three, we're going to start with the with left. So we're going to go left foot out first. Okay. Three, two, one. Here we go. Two, come on. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other hand, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Look, 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 look. It's this hand. So, no, it's the other hand. There you go. All right. All right. We working on it, okay? It's all about progress, not perfection, okay? We're going for progress, not perfection. All right. Now, straight from there, we got the freestyle punch. 30 seconds. I need you to go hard for 30 seconds punching. You're going to punch the wind. If you ever saw boys in the hood, I want you to punch, you want you to punch that air. Like somebody got you upset. Y'all ready? In three, two, one, let's go. Come on. Give them everything you got. Uppercuts. Come on. Jabs, hooks, everything. There you go, come on. 30 seconds. I said the average street fight lasts less than one minute. Can you even go for 30 seconds? All right. Make you second guess if you really want to fight somebody or not. <laughs> one minute is a long time when you don't stop. Shane, you all right over there? Uh-huh, y'all was talking all that trash in the street. Now it's time to fight. I hope you got something left, huh? And they not standing still, they moving. They grabbing you, come on. 10 more seconds, keep punching. Punch, punch, punch. I'm gonna jab them all the way out. I'm gonna jab them all the way out, come on. Punch, punch, punch. Five seconds, four, three, two. Good job, good job. All right now, straight into good mornings, okay? We're gonna do 20 good mornings, nice and slow. 
in three. Remember, keep your hands out like this, not in like this. Okay? Keep them out like this, all right? All right, remember, and we're going to go parallel to the ground. So here's what it looks like from the side. One. For all those who are worried about, hey, getting their glutes a little tighter, this is great for your glutes and lower back, okay? In three, in two, in one. Here we go. Down. One. Down. Two. Down. Three. Come on. Down. Four. Down. Five. Down. Six. Down. Seven. Come on. Down. Eight. Down. Nine. Down. Ten. Come on, y'all. Down. Eleven. Down. Twelve. Down. Thirteen. Down. Fourteen. One more. Down. Fifteen. All right, round two. We got three rounds of this. That was easy, right? All right, now we're going to correct the issues that we had before. Number one, we'll get lower on these sumo squat punches. All right, get that butt closer to the ground, okay? It's gonna make a world of difference in how your workout feels, all right? So, we're going round two, all right? And round two, we're going back. We got 40 sumo squats, 40 sumo squats, all right? Squat punches. So, we're gonna start with the one on the left. The left is gonna be the odd number, that's gonna be the one. Right is number two, all right? And three, two, give me that squat, get lower, chest up. All right, three, two, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lower, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Come on, 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 30. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Good job, all right? Now, straight into next, jump squats. 16, matter of fact, y'all look good in that last one. We go to 20. All right, here we go. In three, Two, we're gonna have to start with the left foot. All right, all right, cool. And three, and two, and one. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. There you go. Seven, eight. She ain't got it up. Nine, ten, eleven. Get low. Twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good job, good job. Clap it up for yourself. Clap it up, clap it up. Remember my slogan, if you don't love yourself, you don't clap for yourself, who will? All right, punch time in three, two, one. 30 seconds, come on, come on, freestyle. Get some body blows in there. You gotta, you know, if you hit the body, they drop their hands. And that's when you go up top to the face. Bang, bang, bang. They start clenching the face, back to the body. Okay, all right. You watch the boy the other night, he knocked the guy out with a body blow. All right. Come on, 15 seconds. Faster, faster, faster. Break that sweat, come on. Faster, faster, faster. Faster. Sometimes you just gotta be faster than them. You ain't gotta be stronger. You just gotta beat them to the punch, literally. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job. All right. Next up, we have good mornings. In three, two, one. We got 20 good mornings this time, okay? 
Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Halfway, come on, y'all. Eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, here we go, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Some of y'all ain't bent over since last time you dropped something that fell underneath your bed, all right? There's a good chance to get back over there. All right, guess what? That was circuit number two. We got one more. And then we go to our Russian twist on the floor and our glute bridges, okay? Glutes gonna tighten up the hamstrings and the core, all right? Core and hamstrings and the Russian twist are all core workouts. Notice I don't say ab workouts. I say core workouts because your core contains a lot more than just your abs, all right? And remember, you don't work out for your abs. You eat for your abs, but you work out for your core strength, okay? Here we go. Low sumo squats. Push, push your towel. Low sumo squats. Low sumo squats. All right. Y'all ready? I hope y'all ready because I'm ready. Come on. I gave y'all like 10 seconds to rest. I talked for a little bit. Man, here we go. Low. Get that butt low. We're going to the left. We got 40. All right. Matter of fact, last one, we're going to 50 this time. Okay. In three. And two, and one, left side, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, 30. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 40. 10 more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 50. Good job. Good job. All right, now, here we go. Let's get it. We're going straight into. Lunge jumps. That's where you burn it up right here. We burn that fat. We had chicken yesterday. I had some donuts. Oh, I ate good yesterday. Oh man, guess what? We're gonna lose those calories right now. We're gonna burn them off right now. And three, and two, one, left foot, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, 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 thirty, oh yeah. When that performance blast kick in, you might get 10 more. Ready? Let's go. 27, 28, 29, 30. Oh yeah. When that performance blast kick in, you might get 10 more. You might get 20 more. Oh, I'm just warming up, y'all. Just warming up. Here we go. Now, freestyle punch. Come on, it's round three. You got your opponent on the ropes. You gotta knock him out now. In three, two, one. Here we go, freestyle. <sighs> Come on. Fifteen seconds. Come on. Ten seconds. Jab it out. Fast jab. Fast jab. Come on. Left, right. Left, right. Faster. Faster. 
faster. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Straight into good mornings. And three. And two, Tashina said, if y'all sign in on time, she don't have to stop her workout to let y'all in the chat. All right. So take that note. Let's go. And three, hold on. Let me wipe this down because every time I do a good morning, I put sweat all over my floor. And three, hands behind your head. And two, we got 20. Here we go. Down, one, down, two, down, three, down, four, down, five, down, six, seven, down, eight, down, nine, down, 10, down, 11, down, 12, down, 13, down, 14, down, 15, come almost there, come on, 16, down, 17, 18, 19, 20. Oh yeah, good job, good job, good job. Guess what y'all, that was all three of my circuits. Now I got two exercises left, we're gonna go to the mat. So go get your mat really quick. We'll use the mat on both these exercises, all right? All right. All right, you got 10 seconds. Five seconds. All right. Get down on the mat. The first one we're gonna do is called a bridge. All right, on the bridge, I want your hands on the ground, your head on the ground, okay? Your butt starts off on the ground, all right? Now, on the bridge, what I want you to do is I want you to lift up. You wanna thrust your pelvis in the air, okay? All right, and you wanna squeeze your glutes, all right? I don't care, men, women, all the same. This is a great workout for everybody. This, when you increase your glutes, this helps with speed and power. If you're thinking about, you know, staying in shape, women, of course, I know you're thinking about tightening and firming your glutes. This is a perfect exercise. One of the best exercises when it comes to toning those glutes, all right? So we got 20 bridges, okay? 20 bridges, and then we're going into Russian twists, all right? In three, as soon as Tashina gets over here, I know she really wants to do these really bad. Come close to me, babe. Yep. I keep her close. I keep her close to me. She can't get away. All right. In three, two, one. Bridge up. Let's go. One, two, squeeze. Three, four. Oh, yeah. Five. 20 is a long way away. Six. Seven, come on. Eight, nine, 10, halfway, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, push off your heels. 16, push heels. 17, 18, 19, and 20. Good job. Sit up, sit up. All right. Anybody feel that? Put your thumbs up if you felt that a little bit. Anybody feel that a little bit? All right. Next, we're gonna do Russian twists. All right, Russian twists are simple. We've done these before. It's gonna be sitting and you're just going side to side. Now, you can put your feet on the ground. It makes it a little easier, okay? Or you can put your feet in the air and it engages your core a lot more, okay? So I'm gonna try to let my feet hit the ground. We're only gonna do 20 of these, <clears throat> and then we're gonna go right back, <coughs> excuse me, to the 
We're going right back into the uh, the bridge, the bridges, all right? So here we go. We got 20 and these go fast, all right? In three, two, one, here we go, left side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. There you go. Easy, all right? Now back to the bridges. All right, we got three sets of this. All right? If they ain't on now, baby, this, this, we're about to finish. Come on, I need you over here. Come on. <laughs> In three, two, here we go. Lift up. One, two. Remember, heels is where you push from. Three, four, five, six, seven. All the way up. Eight, nine. Push up like the ground is hot. Ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, back to my Russian twist. Here we go. Three, two, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right. One more set and we out of here. Here we go. Let's get these glutes right. Nobody wants to be walking around with their glutes all flabby. All right. We're going to kill the flabby glutes. <laughs> all right. In three, two, up, one. Up, two, three, come on, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20. Good job, good job, good job, good job. Over to the Russian twist and we out of here. Three, two, I need you lightning fast on this one. We going to 30 this time to close it out. We're going to 30. And three, two, one, left side. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. All right. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Come on. Off the ground. You did it. You did it. Clap it up for yourself. Remember, get up slow. Remember, get up slow. Get up slow because you can get dizzy if you get up too fast. You've been on the ground for a long time. Let's turn it down a little bit. All right, y'all. Man, we got some fun stuff to talk about today. Uh, one of the things I want, just want to share with you guys. Oh, by the way, shout out to my mother-in-law. She's working out. She is social distancing. She's, on, she's about 10 feet over to my right, but she's here with us as well. So she did the whole workout with us. Yeah, come on. Come on in, Mom. There she is. There's my queen. Look at her. Look at her. All right. So she did the whole workout with us over there. All right, so uh, a couple of things. One of the things I want you to make sure you're doing, and I realize I've said it, but I haven't described it. Let me show you how I drink water. I know this sounds so simple, but it's so important. As soon as I wake up, I literally brush my teeth and drink a full cup of water. Yes, 16 uh, ounces, which is uh, two cups technically, right? So 16 ounces of water. I try to get 16 to 20 in before anything else goes into my system, okay? But what does that do? Well, a lot of things. It's going to help, number one, curb your hunger, all right? It's also going to help your metabolism and it's going to flush you out. So 
in the morning, I consume a 16 ounces of water before I touch anything else. All right. I want everybody to do that. But also, let me also tell you how I consume water because it's very important to your digestive system. Another thing is that you're actually supposed to drink water an hour before you eat. Okay. Not when you're eating. All right. Most of us, we have sodium based foods that make us really thirsty while we're eating. So we have a cup of our favorite drink, water or soda or whatever you guys are drinking right there. All right. And you're drinking it. Okay. But for digestive purposes, you want to drink about an hour ahead of time, kind of clear the pathway for the food to get into your system. Okay. Now I do that before every meal. Also, after an intense workout like this, I'm going to drink some water. Okay. Now my workout is not done. I actually uh, glad it finally stopped raining. I'm gonna go out and go for a quick jog. But you want to make sure that you're always hydrating. Now, before I go to bed, I do the exact same thing. I drink a full two cups of water, 16 ounces before I go to bed. Yes, it's going to wake you up in the middle of the night, but it will flush you out. It will help your digestive system greatly. All right. It brings me, I mean, just a good flush out, good focus as well. So in the morning, first thing I do, I'm drinking water. An hour before every meal, drinking water. And then at, at nighttime, right before bed, so I brush my teeth at night as well. I'm a son of a dentist. If y'all don't know, my mom's a dentist. I got to brush my teeth in the morning and at night, right? And at nighttime, I will brush my teeth and drink the water. It's the last thing that hits my body at the end of the night is a glass of water, okay? That helps you with getting regular as well as the Go Baby Cleanse Tea, okay? but you have to get these things into a practice, into a system, okay? So the Gold Baby Cleanse Tea will help flush out toxins. It will help your joints. Remember, it's got CBD in it. It really helps flush out everything, okay? So the nutrients can take a uh, correct impact into your body, all right? Now, in the morning, you know what I also like to do? After I have my water, brush my teeth, I come downstairs, and I keep this downstairs uh, in a place where I'm reminded to take it, okay? Right near the refrigerator. And I spray this, six to eight sprays, okay, is one use. Spray this to help me not be hungry, but also gives me a little boost of energy as well. This is the Weight Wise Spray, all right? Yep, I'll get the questions at the end. Hold on one second, guys. I'll get the questions at the end. And then uh, the Weight Wise uh, Plus with glucose support, these are great to take after the meal, okay? After your meal lunch and breakfast to help break down and regulate your blood sugar. If you haven't seen uh, Chimmy Boy Key's video on our OxyFit launch infomercial that came out the other day, she really breaks down the uh, Weight Wise uh, glucose support products. You should really check out Chimmy Boy Keys, or I just call it Chimmy Keys. Uh, she's a platinum C and vice president, but she's also an advocate user of the Weight Wise pills. And uh, you should hear her breakdown on that. Okay. And then, um, the Performance Blast, I just got a new one in the mail. This is this one not even open yet. I just finished my last one this morning, so I'll open this up tomorrow. This is a Performance Blast. As you see, I like it when it's still got, the, still got the, the plastic still on there, right? I like to pop it open and get that fresh smell of it, right? So Performance Blast, if you don't have that in the mail, you got to order that, okay? Now, um, those are our Weight Wise products. Remember the system. And I'm actually making a video uh, right now called the culture of fitness, okay? Because everything is an ecosystem. Things have to work together. You can't do one without doing the other and expect miraculous victories with your body. You have to be eating right. And that can start with just eating better, okay? I don't ask people to be perfect. I'm not perfect when it comes to food, but uh, eating better is the first step in the right direction. Hydration, sleep, fitness, the uh, supplements, they all work in, in conjunction with one another. They supplement one another, okay? So you have to be really working it. So it's a culture, all right? But also your culture is not just the things that you do, it's how you think. So I'm thinking about, man, if I eat this tonight, what I'll have to do tomorrow, okay? So I'm thinking about that. Do I even have it in me to eat this tonight if I don't have the time to work it off tomorrow, right? So that kind of changes my decisions on how we do things. So this is a culture of fitness. This is not a product. This is a culture of fitness. This is not just a free workout. 
This is a culture of fitness. It's not just a meal plan. Everything that I'm doing, I'm thinking about this, but I'm taking it to another level. I'm not doing this for just myself. I'm thinking about my family. I'm thinking about what I would be, uh, we were talking about grandchildren the other day, what I would be around to play with my grandchildren. My mother-in-law is here right now. She's in great shape. She can play with my, my kids like not, like like she is in her 20s. And I want to be like that every single decade of my life. I want to look up and say, man, I can play with my grandchildren or maybe even great-grandchildren. These are my, my goals are to stay healthy for a long period of time, not just for a picture or for a pitch or some product line. Uh, that, that is all subsequent. This is what I, I really want to do is stay healthy for a long period of time. And I challenge you guys to really get that, embrace that mindset uh, because that's what's really gonna help you when you start thinking about, you know what, do I wanna go to this buffet today? No. I'm not going to the buffet. Look, I'm gonna make a choice to do something else. There's other things I can eat that are not at a buffet, all right? So think about those things right now. Put fitness, nutrition into your daily schedule. So this is a routine. It's not something you have to think about. It's just something that happens automatically, all right? So we got a couple of questions. I always wanna make sure we answer the questions. Go ahead. Um, it says, after drinking 16 ounces of water, how long do you wait to go or your morning run without getting cramps while you're running? Good question. So um, after drinking 16 ounces of water, how long do you wait before going on your morning run <clears throat> without catching cramps? That's a really good one. I'm used to drinking water and being able to run, okay? Uh, but I definitely am going to have to use the restroom after I drink. So after I use the restroom, that's good for me. Um, technically, you should be giving yourself 20 or 30 minutes or so as a break. Uh, but if your body's used to it, it's fine. If it's not, yeah, give yourself about 20 or 30 minutes. And um, once I use the restroom, I, I know I can go for a run. All right, was another question? Uh, what's the best time to eat dinner? All right, so the best time to eat dinner is, this is a good question. Guess what? Not really a best time. All right, now here's why, okay? The best time to eat dinner is based on when you plan on eating breakfast. Let me say it again. The best time to eat dinner is based on when you plan on eating breakfast. You want to give your body a long break or fast, okay, between lunch, dinner and breakfast. All right, now you got sleep for six to eight hours, which helps, but I typically like to eat breakfast, I mean, eat dinner a little bit earlier if I plan on eating breakfast early. If I'm going to eat breakfast late, then I can eat a little later. A lot of times people assume that if I eat late, that's going to make me fat or add pounds. That is false. If you eat bad, it's going to make you fat, right? If you eat broccoli at four in the morning, you're not going to get fat, I promise you. But if you eat a, a, a whole pizza at four in the morning, you're going to get fat. But guess what? No matter what time you eat, those things will have the exact same effect. So please don't subscribe to the notion that eating late is what's making you this way. What the difference is, is how long you have between breakfast and, and your dinner, I'm sorry, dinner and breakfast, because your body is recovering. When you eat, your body needs to take a break. So the, the, the nutrients that your body takes in can actually do their job, all right? So give your body a break between dinner and breakfast. Um, so if you're intermittent fasting, yep, it's 16 hours. That's a long time. If you're not intermittent fasting, I would suggest 10 to 12 hours. Okay? So that means, you know, you need to plan this out. All right? 10 to 12 hours. I do 16 hours. So 16 hours at least from my last meal of the night. So if my last meal of the night is at, uh, usually is at uh, 8 o'clock, then my first meal uh, won't be until noon. Okay? So just think about that. So 12 plus four, that's 16, all right? So I eat at eight o'clock, then I don't eat again until noon. But if you can make it 10 or 12, that's fine too, but still give your body a break. That's why breakfast is called break fast, all right? Because you're breaking your fast. All right, any other questions? Thank you for the workout session. I feel encouraged. Uh, Denise Holcomb. Awesome. Hey, don't forget to take pictures of where you started, okay? Because I'm going to start asking you guys for some transformation pictures pretty soon. So don't forget to take your pictures. Don't send them to me yet, okay? Nope, just take them and keep them. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask for them soon. Um, I'm, I'm still gonna be working with a few people 
um, over time. So yes, I want you to take pictures of your before, go out. It's, um, it was a crazy night in the DMV where we live, uh, but it looks like it's a beautiful day. So I'm gonna take advantage of a beautiful day and go out and get some fresh air, some exercise and breathe in, you know, just more energy to get through the day. All right, so I pray for you guys that you do extremely well. You'll be seeing us celebrating our two of our sons. Uh, one graduated yesterday, the other graduates tomorrow. And uh, we're going to be doing some exciting stuff, which might mean a little bit more celebratory food, which means a lot more workouts for me. Fortunately, I would say unfortunately, but I do like to work out. So it's all good. All right. So, guys, um, I, I pray for you. I hope everything is going well with your life. Make sure you keep your mind clear first. And listen, stay well, stay fit. Let's get it. Take care.